1978, I think it was, Benny Hinn's first service in Orlando, healing service at Calvary. And he says, any of you that have arthritis, stand. Well, I knew I had arthritis because the doctor told me I was taking medication for it. When I stood, the power of God went right through me. And I knew I was healed from arthritis, but I didn't know I also was healed from everything that day. And there was an impartation of the healing anointing. And so people are going to get healed tonight. People watching. And don't miss these first Friday of the month services for physical healing, emotional and one more deliverance. I won't tell you when I think the deliverance anointing started. At that time, it was only Benny Hinn and me, and I would drive them to the different churches to preach. And we went to uh, Carl Strader's church in Lakeland. Carpenter's Home. It was not Carpenter's Home Church then. It was the First Assembly of God in Lakeland. And Benny was on the platform. And I was sitting on the first row here. And while he was preaching, a lady filled with demons comes warning down the aisle trying to get to him, screaming. Ah! And Benny said, John, take her out and cast the devil out of her. I said, say what? <laughs> take her out and cast. Well, the ushers grabbed her. And they bring her into the overflow room. And two people came who knew what they were doing. I just watched. I just watched. And she got delivered. And they said she could come back in the service now. And Ben Hint said, she could come back now. John cast the devil out of her. I didn't know nothing. I didn't even know about this stuff. But I said, God... He made it a habit. Every place we went and somebody manifest, he would hear him say, John, take her out and cast the devil out of him. So I said, God, I need to learn more about this. So here's what happened. I go to bed. Sometimes I do that. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why God likes to get you at 3 o'clock in the morning. So watch. Three o'clock in the morning, I had a strange experience. I saw myself looking down on myself. It was a big field. And in the field, a preacher was preaching. It was outside. He was really preaching up a storm. He was really into it. He was very animated. And he was really excited. And he was preaching, rah, rah, rah. And he was the only one excited. I was behind him in this vision. I was here. He was up there. Nobody knew I was here. And I could see the people, but the people couldn't see me. I was up here looking down on this scene. And I'm seeing the people out there. They're sitting on the ground with their legs crossed and they're just with a blank expression. And I could see the demons over them. I'm seeing the people. They have the arms crossed like you. And they're like on the ground like this, sitting there. And he's preaching, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the people were sitting there with blank expressions. I could see the demons. I was up there watching myself down here, watching this. And I said, God, what are you showing me? And you know what he said, Mike? He said, my preachers cannot see the bondage my people are in. He said, my preachers cannot see the bondage. And when he said, something touched my mouth. And all I could think of was the scripture. And I believe that a deliverance anointing came on me for deliverance. 